Hello Argonauts! This video is a guide on how to use Argo Chain's EVM compatibility, wrap your AGC tokens, add tokens and chains to your wallet, and bridge them from Argo Chain to base and back again. You can skip to any of these topics using the chapters in the timeline below. We've also included several links which we'll be covering in the video description, so make sure to check those out as well. A few prerequisites for this guide. You will need an Argo wallet with AGC in it. You will need an EVM wallet like MetaMask. You will need ETH on base chain for gas. If you need help with any of these prerequisites, check out the number one links in the video description below. We'll start with our Argo wallet, link number two in the video description. Here you can see my balance of 110 AGC tokens. First, I'll go to the on-chain swap in the sidebar. This is where we'll move our AGC tokens from the Argo chain substrate to an EVM address which will allow us to interact seamlessly with chains built on Ethereum's technology. The first field is my native Argo chain wallet address which we are transferring from. The second field is where I will copy the address from my EVM wallet like MetaMask to transfer to. Although many EVM wallets will work, we do recommend using MetaMask for simplicity. Also, it's okay if you haven't added the Argo chain to your EVM wallet at this point. If this is your first time, I'd recommend following this guide with a small test transaction of a few AGC before transferring a larger sum. In the last field, I'll put the amount of AGC I want to transfer. Do note, you will be required to leave one AGC in your wallet for future gas. I'll transfer 100, leaving 10 AGC in my Argo wallet and submit the transaction. Fantastic, so my AGC has been transferred, and if I go back to the dashboard, I can see my Argo wallet balance has updated. Let's add Argo chain to our EVM wallet and wrap our AGC using link number three in the video description. If I try to connect my wallet, I'll get a warning message that my wallet doesn't have the Argo chain added. So I'll go ahead and do that now and confirm in MetaMask. Now, if I go back to my wallet, I can see Argo chain has been added and my AGC balance is listed. If I click on the network dropdown at the top, we can choose which network we want to be connected to. I'll go ahead and use this opportunity to add base chain by simply typing it into the search field. Now you can see we've likewise added base chain and are now connected to that network. But at this point, let's reconnect with Argo chain to continue wrapping our AGC. I'll go to the next button and add wrapped AGC to my wallet so they'll be visible for the next steps. A quick note, your EVM wallet and all tokens exist on their respective blockchains. By adding blockchains and tokens to our wallet, we are not adding our wallet to those chains, but instead updating our MetaMask to display those chains and token data in the UI, just like how we transferred AGC to our EVM wallet before we added Argo chain. In order to wrap our AGC tokens, we need to first connect our wallet or we'll get an error message. And then I'll wrap my AGC and sign the transaction, making sure to leave at least 10 native AGC in my wallet for gas and fees. Next, let's bridge our wrapped AGC tokens onto base using Chainport, link number four in the video description. I'll connect my wallet and choose Argo Chain and Wrapped AGC as the token I want to bridge from, as well as Base and Wrapped AGC as what I want to bridge to. Since I left plenty of native AGC in my wallet, I'll choose Max to bridge all of my Wrapped AGC. And before I bridge, we can see the fees I will incur by doing so. I'll approve wrapped AGC to bridge.
and then sign the transfer. And now we wait. This usually takes a little over a minute to confirm, but I'll speed it up for the video. And fantastic, my wrapped AGC has arrived. But if I go to my wallet, I don't see it. Let's add wrapped AGC on base to our wallet. I'll show you how to find this yourself and have included base scan, the base chain explorer, as well as the token contract in link number five. I'll copy my wallet address and go to basescan.org, pasting my wallet address in the top field to search for my wallet. Here we can see everything in my wallet on base. I'll go to the tab for Token Transfers ERC20 and click ERC20 Wrapped Argo Coin, which I can see was transferred into my wallet one minute ago. On the upper right side of the page, I can copy the contract address and going to my wallet, making sure I'm on base chain at the top and the Tokens tab below, here, I'll click on the three dots and import tokens. Then I'll go to the custom token tab and paste in the token contract address. And now I can see the wrapped AGC tokens in my wallet. Keep in mind, to do anything with these tokens, you will need to have a small amount of ETH on base chain to use for gas. All right, at this point, let's go back to chain port, link number four in the description, and transfer our wrapped AGC back to ArgoChain. By selecting base and wrapped AGC under from, and ArgoChain and wrapped AGC under to. I'll approve the allowance for my wrapped AGC, and then sign the transaction to bridge. We'll wait a minute or two for the bridging to settle on the back end. I'll speed this up for the video. And we've successfully bridged. Going back to link number three to wrap and unwrap my AGC tokens, I'll connect my wallet and choose how many AGC I want to unwrap. And sign the transaction. Now we can go back to our Argo wallet, link number two, and navigate to the on-chain swap button on the sidebar. This time, let's choose the tab EVM to substrate to transfer from our EVM wallet address to our substrate address in our Argo wallet. Double checking which account we are transferring to if you have more than one. Enter the amount and submit. Going back to the dashboard, we can see we have an updated balance of 97.9 .9 native AGC and have successfully made the round trip. I went back and did this process again to transfer any small amounts of AGC I had left behind in the demonstration. As you can see from the original 110 AGC we started with, after fees, we have a total of 104.5 AGC in our Argo wallet as well as one AGC remaining in my MetaMask for a total cost of 4.5 AGC tokens. With larger transfers, these fees will be far less percentage-wise, so keep that in mind as you move your tokens around. For more guides, as well as to keep up with Devolved AI, make sure to subscribe and join our communities linked in the description below. Super Synapse, signing out.